Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a fall fashion nail polish trend for 2013. Um, this is just some things that I looked up. I'm going to link the article down below because there are tons of different ways to do things and so you can get it inspired. There's pictures down there for you or in the article as well for you guys. So if you want to check out and look at the pictures, that would be cool as well. I'm just going to give you some options out of that I pulled from my collection. I'm going to give you one high-end option and then the other one is going to be a drugstore option. The first one is actually 3D accents. Um, so 3D accents are really big using studs or rhinestones or anything. So I'm just going to show you these teardrop ones that I have here from dollarnailart.com. I've mentioned them before and they are nice studs and they're very affordable and you get quite a bit. Like you get a lot for a dollar. Um, so these are teardrop studs. These ones are in gold. They have literally every color. I've got them here. I think this is red. There's a green. Um, so I'll have their linked their link down below. Yeah. The second one is Twist on Black Nail Polish. So I decided to show you the Maybelline Color Show Polka Dots Nail Polishes. This one's in Clearly Spotted. Um, now this one is just, it's not on a black base, so you're going to have to paint it over a black nail polish. Um, but it's really cool. It's polka dotted black and white and it's really, really cool, guys. It gives it a really cool modern look and I really like it. The black that I'm going to recommend you to paint it over is the Wet n Wild Wet n Wild Wild Shine in black. It's just a cream black, but any black will work. This one is a dollar and it's a really good quality for the dollar. I have for more high end, if you just want a subtle thing, um, is by Sia and this is in the color Twilight. It's just a black with gold shimmer because like that metallic is also in which I'll talk about in a second so this was a good option this is $15 <sighs> if you want dupes for any of the high-end ones though let me know in the comments because I was gonna do that and then I was like no I was gonna do it but then it would take too long the second trend is metallic and that's just anything with a metallic finish basically the ones that I'm gonna show you uh, this one here by spoiled which you can purchase at CVS they're $1.99 and this one is also very similar to SC's for the twill of it and OPI's Peace and Love and OPI. This one's called Pang in Platinum. Or Pang with Platinum. So there's the name. And this is the color. It's just a gray um, that's reflecting purples and greens and blues and it's really kind of a cool color. Now this one is not the same quality as Essie or OPI. Um, it's pretty sheer so I would recommend painting it over a gray base of some sort before because you will need like three or four coats for this one but if you don't want to spend eight dollars to nine dollars on a polish then maybe go with that one. Show you guys is by Sia as well. This one's in Ladylike Luxe. Um, this one's a gold but it has like a metallic finish over the top of it that's silver but it's really really pretty and gold is also in for fall so I thought this one was a good one to show you guys Oxblood this was a huge thing last year and I didn't really get into it that that much last year so the first one I want to show you is by NYC this is their long wearing nail enamel in Plaza Plumberry it's just a very very deep red it's very very dark and it's it's really pretty um, it's a cream finish <laughs> This one is also by Siat. I'm sorry I pulled a lot from Siat, but I just felt like there were so many that went well with Siat or with the fall trends by Siat. So this one is in Dangerous Affair, and it's a little bit brighter, um, more of like a wine red, but it's pretty deep. Uh, black is back. So like I said, black and any black will do. The one that I really recommend, guys, because it's only a dollar and it's very good. It's very opaque. Also, the Milani um, One Coat Technology ones are really good in Swift Black, I believe is what it's called. I don't own it, but uh, Vianney Lu One, she uses it a lot and you only need one coat of that and it's pretty good. And I think those polishes are about $3 each, so that one's really good as well. This one, you can get away with one coat as well. Uh, Wet n Wild Wild Shine in just, it's called black. There's nothing else to it black cream and it's a dollar um, and the thing about black is that using a matte top coat with it so the one that I really like using and it's the only matte top coat that I've ever used so if there are any matte top coats out there that you would like me to try um, or do research on or whatever um, let me know them down below the elf matte finisher nail polish looks like this um, and it's three dollars by elf um, and it's really nice. It works really, really well. And so that's it for all of the trends on the bizarre 
um, article that I looked up on. But those are just some of the ones that I want to show you guys, and I'm really excited about all of the fall trends. I just really like them. Um, but I also wanted to go over these SC ones. This one is the After Dark um, After School Boy Blazer in Licorice. Um, so this one's Licorice. It's a dark black, or it's a dark black. It's black, uh, just a basic black. And then this is a navy. Um, I really like navy polish. It's my absolute favorite. Um, if you want to know... If you want me to do an all-time favorite fall nail polish video, request it down below because I definitely will. Because The next card is called Buff Love. You have Eternal Optimus, which is a really pretty nude blush shade. And then this one, which is called San Tropez. It's a really pretty nude color, um, more on the taupe side. And then Red Alert is a really cool one. Um, twin sweater set and then this one is fishnet stockings and then the last card is called up in smoke and it has which I really want to get this shade actually um, cashmere bathrobe and chinchilla cashmere bathrobe is more of a slate gray blue color and then chinchilla is just your basic gray more on the taupe side of things if you want any dupes for any of those let me know in the comments that's basically it for fall nail polish trends of 2013 if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and i will talk to you guys later bye